This presentation is brought to you by the Beljansky Foundation. Over 50 years of research towards curing cancer the natural way. Hello everybody, my name is Larissa Likvar. I'm a medical doctor, physiologist, uh, pain management, who specializes in non-surgical regenerative treatment of the musculoskeletal system. It's no secret that uh, in our childhood, uh, we learn our first lessons, that our childhood shapes us in the individual who we are in our adult life. We learn our first lessons, which helps us to go throughout our lives. Uh, my father, my father had a pretty dangerous job while I was growing up. He was a colonel responsible for disarming mines and explosive devices, devices left over from World War II. Not only did he survive, but also did every soldier who served under his watch. He sent each and every one back to his mother alive. My father was able to accomplish this because he paid a tremendous, incredible emphasis um, and paid huge attention to any details in his job. So this was one of the first lessons which I learned from him. Uh, there is no such thing, there is no such things as unimportant details in a job would do. My mom, my mom, she worked as an engineer in a bread factory. Uh, considering continuous shortage of supplies and constant technical problems, my mom had to be very creative day in and day out to be able to um, accomplish her goal and give bread to a city. No matter the circumstances, she never failed to be creative. This was one of the first lessons which I learned from my mom. There is always a solution, we just have to look for it. These two lessons, among others, shaped me into the doctor who I am today. So what do I do? Um, like I said, I'm a physiatrist, physical medicine and rehabilitation doctor. Physiatrists are doctors who are experts in musculoskeletal problems, in um, joints, bones, muscles, tendons, and nerves problem disease. Physiatrists diagnose and help patients to um, relearn how to live their life to, um, while the usual routine of their movement are compromised. And uh, physiatrists help patients to reestablish and uh, regain their quality of life in the maximum way possible despite the disease, disability, or severe injuries. The fundamentals of the field originated during ancient time and the history of the PMNR crosses many cultures and geographic boundaries. Um, how common a musculoskeletal problem? Very common. Uh, we're living much longer today than 20, 30, 50 years ago, and because of the wear and tear and a lot of and injuries and different circumstances, um, our musculoskeletal system might be compromised. Uh, statistics says that uh, one in three person eventually will have shoulder problem. Every other person will end up having low back pain. Uh, Americans spending about $50 billion per year to treat and compensate a uh, problem due to musculoskeletal disability. Uh, one of the main symptoms of the musculoskeletal problem is a pain. Why were we created in a way that we have pain to start with? We have three, uh, I mean, pain has different characteristics. And one of the classification of pain um, depend on for how long do we have this pain. We have acute pain which lasts from the event to up to three months. During this period of time, our body trying to create inflammation, which is the first stage of healing, and trying to repair injured structures. Uh, Subacute pain, it's pain from three to six months when body kind of like finishing up the repairing uh, process if it's going on in the right direction. And we have chronic pain, which is uh, from th six months and more. Chronic pain is always pathological pain. We were not created in a way to have a pain. 
pain, it's a, um, actually chronic, uh, acute and subacute pain, it's a protective mechanism. It uh, let us know that uh, something is damaged and we will not continue use and abuse damaged part of the body and that we have to take it easy and unload it and give our body enough time to heal it and we have to take care of it if it just uh, regular um, self-healing process doesn't go to the uh, desirable uh, result. What approaches do we have to get our pain under control and to get under control our musculoskeletal problem? We have two major pathway. We have conventional uh, approach and we have alternative approach. Conventional approach includes different type of pain medication, uh, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory like Advil, Aleph, Naproxen, uh, just a pain medication, non-opioid uh, pain medication like Tylenol. We do have opioid pain medication like uh, Vicodin or, and others. We have physical therapy, occupational therapy, acupuncture, chiropractor, and if none of this works, surgery. Uh, and also we have cortisone shots, famous one. Uh, so pain medication, including cortisone shots, unfortunately target just the pain, which has nothing to do with the reason of the pain. Uh, chiropractic care, acupuncture, physical therapy, occupational therapy, they're trying to target the reason of the pain, they're trying to heal the um, origination of the pain. Sometimes it's enough, but sometimes if injury is too much, this method not enough, and another approach is required to get situation under good control. Alternative methods. There are quite a few of them. So um, let's review uh, of these methods. Uh, diet modification, uh, prolotherapy, platelet rich plasma, prolozone, neuroprolotherapy, stem cells. Diet modification. Uh, I think Hippocrates said that our food should be our remedy. So, depend what we eat, it will influence um, acidity in our body. When we eat food with the more acidic um, uh, influence in our system, our body becomes very acid. Imagine if you will put your hand in the solution of the acid, it will burn, it will be painful. The same happens with our body. When we eat food which shift our pH toward the acid um, end, it increases inflammation and maintain pain in our system. When we choose food which will maintain alkaline, um, which will change uh, pH toward the alkaline uh, side of the acidity, it will decrease inflammation and will facilitate the healing process. Neuroprolotherapy, it's a 100% natural uh, approach which helps to get under control so-called neurogenic inflammation. The same way like we covered with the skin, underneath of the skin, we covered by network, by mesh made from the nerve ending uh, from our entire body, from our entire peripheral nervous system. And these nerves are responsible for healing process in the area which they cover. Uh, it's like a general in the field. And when we have any injury, any disease, any, uh, uh, any uh, disability, uh, these nerves become inflamed. And when these nerves, nerves inflamed, they cannot provide proper order to tissue to heal. Neuroprolotherapy helps to get neurogenic inflammation under control. Nerves start to work properly and the uh, healing process go, goes toward the proper direction. Uh, prolotherapy, another name for prolotherapy, it's a non-surgical reconstruction of tendons and ligaments. A lot of people think that we develop arthritis, the main problem is inside the joint. Uh, in the reality, most of the problem, main pain generators, not the joint itself, but the tissue around the joint, tissue which support the joint, joint capsules, tendons, and ligaments. And the prolotherapy helps to restore this uh, tissue, these tendons and ligaments. As soon as joint regain uh, stability and uh, which will provide the proper trajectory of joint movement, uh, joint itself starts to heal itself and pain goes away and a person does not need pain medication anymore, doesn't need surgery anymore. 
Another method, uh, PRP or platelet rich plasma. Idea behind this the same, but it's more, much more powerful tool to push our body towards self-regenerative process. Um, I take patient blood, sp spin it in a special centrifuge, concentrate the plasma, the liquid part of the uh, blood, <coughs> which has a lot of uh, um, platelets. And these platelets have growth factors, and they um, trigger, again, self-regenerative process in the tissue, and body will uh, wake up and will heal itself. Another method, uh, prolozone. Uh, with the prolozone, I use combination of uh, homeopathic medication, anti-inflammatory medication, vitamins, combined with injection of mixture of ozone and oxygen gas. It sounds kind of scary, gas injection, but it's a healthy, it's a good um, method, practically uh, harmless if doctor knows what he or she is doing. And it really helps our tissue to get more oxygen, and oxygen absolutely crucial for proper metabolism, for proper regenerative uh, process. Let's review a few cases uh, which are very informative regarding the efficacy of alternative methods. Um, one of uh, case number one, retired nurse, 74 years old, struggling with a chronic um, knee pain. Uh, Margaret was having the uh, severe knee pain for more than 15 years. Her function, uh, her pain level was 7 out of 10 in a scale from 0 to 10. 0, no pain, 10, the worst pain in your life. Um, her functional limitation was she could walk just a couple blocks, she couldn't go up and down stairs, she couldn't sit uh, still for a prolonged period of time. Uh, the treatment which she tried, it was Tylenol, some home exercise program, a little bit Advil. She was seen by orthopedic doctor who diagnosed her with advanced uh, osteoarthritis of both knees. And she was, told, she was told that the only solution which she has, with the only option which is available for her, it's a total knee replacement, both of her joints. Uh, Margaret saw me for the second opinion in July 2014. Uh, over the course of two years, treatment I provided for her were prolotherapy with neuroprolotherapy for her both knees, for her ankles, diet modification, um, neuroprolotherapy for both legs to decrease neurogenic inflammation. She was referred to physical therapy, and two years later, she was 100% pain free without practically any uh, functional limitation, of course, considering her age. She still sees me twice a year for prophylactic viscous supplementation lubrication treatment to her knees. So she absolutely avoids her uh, promised surgery, and she's enjoying her life to the fullest. Another case, entrepreneur, age 53, uh, with the uh, main issue, uh, right hand pain, which was provoked by tennis play, uh, by playing tennis, and he was afraid even shake hands, which also um, triggered severe pain in his uh, index finger in the right hand. Um, he had a couple sessions of occupational therapy and corticosteroid shot, which helped him temporarily, but after another handshake, pain came back um, even uh, stronger than it was. He was seen by a hand surgeon who told him that he has to have a surgery because MRI of the hand showed that he has a partial tear of the ligament. David saw me in April 2017 after just one PRP platelet switch treatment with neuroprolo for his right upper extremity followed by occupational therapy. In two months after this treatment, he was 100% pain-free without any functional limitation. He enjoyed playing tennis. It, doesn't, it does not afraid to shake hands anymore. In other case, a uh, professional uh, photographer who used to be a professional dancer, she always complained about right shoulder pain. She had difficulty to hold her camera entire day and she felt tight in her anterior uh, shoulder. Uh, she, was offer she was seen by another pain management doctor who offered corticosteroid injection. She refused and saw me instead. Uh, while I um, evaluated Carol, I did the uh, musculoskeletal diagnostic ultrasound in the office. 
uh, which showed that she has tightness in um, that her muscles in the front of the shoulder, superficial layer and, and deeper layer attached to each other, and the biomechanic of the movement of the shoulder was completely compromised. So on top of a prolotherapy, neuroprolo for her shoulder, I also did ultrasound guided fascia hydro dissection. On top of the picture, this is the actual picture from the procedure. On top of the picture, the superficial layer of the muscles, uh, my needle with the fluid around it and the low level um, of the structures in the shoulder. So I was able to separate um, layers of the muscles which should not be attached to each other. And after this treatment, um, after two treatments, she reported 85% improvement of her shoulder pain and 100% improvement of the tightness feeling in her shoulder and she didn't have a feeling of shoulder instability anymore. I would like to share this Chinese proverb. I found it funny and uh, very truthful. If you, if you want to be happy for an hour, take a nap. If you want to have a happiness for a day, go fishing. If you uh, want to be happy for a month, get married. If you want to have happiness for a year, inherit a fortune. If you would like to have a happiness for the lifetime, help others. I was able to enrich my life by joining um, Hiking Hamble Prolotherapy Foundation, which helps people around the world in, uh, in countries where less fortunate than ours, Honduras and Mexico. Uh, doctors from uh, different countries, international group of doctors, will go there and provide uh, missionary uh, treatment, free treatment for people uh, in Honduras and Mexico. From, uh, we're providing prolotherapy and uh, uh, people regaining their health and, and we actually return their happiness to their life because they're pain free and can function properly. And we, um, okay, this picture, this is um, Adam, my very first grandson. He's reading his first book and preparing himself for his future where the sky is the limit. Um, today we're living in a remarkable, unique time when modern technology allows us to uncover more and more secrets about our body's remarkable ability to heal itself. We always have to remember about the first rule of medicine, do no harm. I believe a doctor's job is to assist natural healing process of our bodies by combining the wisdom of century-old techniques with cutting-edge uh, medical advances to further along what our bodies are already programmed to do. I hope that our children and gra grandchildren will grow up. This approach will be the standard of medical care. Every detail is important in human health and is almost always there is a solution. We just have to look for it. Stay healthy and never doubt your body. Thank you.